you, Annie Rose Ramos joins us now. She has incredible stories of people jumping into action to help moments after that explosion. Annie Rose. Well, Rick and Vic, some of the most remarkable stories that we heard throughout the day were those accounts of heroism, where we were able to see Baltimore's bravery shining through the horror of today's blast that all started with a boom. Like, a boom. Boom. Windows busted out, people running. It blew the telephone out of my hand. Oh, my coffee. It blew out of my hand. A single boom sending everything into chaos. Our windows are shattered, and then I went outside and saw what happened, so I told my mom to give me her shoes. I didn't think. I didn't have on shoes. I just took off running down my alley. And sending heroes into the debris. We automatically just went for the house. You could hear a woman agonizing pain. You could hear her yelling, help, I'm right here, help. And we're like, call out, call out louder. Yelling, I'm in here, help, help. And me and four other guys were out there just throwing bricks and debris trying to get to them. Dean Jones, Albert Senwa, Antoinette Parrish, and Shay Bond, who was already suffering from a previous injury to her back, but it didn't stop her from jumping in to help. I was in a car accident not too long ago, but I was down there digging people out, so that's why my back is hurting. We all just got in there and we started digging by hand, brick by brick, center blocks. You can see I got a cut on my, on my hand from trying to reach just trying to save this woman. Digging for people despite the danger. We could hear like a s and we were like, that's gas, we need to move, but them guys didn't care, they just kept throwing blocks. You can smell gas profusely, very, very heavily. We had to worry about, you know, another explosion, but we had to try to get to the victims as well. When someone screams like that, it doesn't really matter about the pain or something like that. It's, it's time to get to them, it's time to get to the bottom of that. And Rick and Vic, that, was that group that you just heard from, they managed to pull a woman from out of this rubble alive with the, thanks to their help. Now, what you're seeing behind me is just a group uh, continuing to work. It's been hours. We've been here all day, and they continue to dig through this rubble. They look like they're on the bottom level towards the basement. I'll move out of the way so you can see a little bit better, but we can see from my vantage point, I can see a group kind of in that bottom level in the basement pulling out with their hands just pieces of rubble. I just saw them throw a couch pillow, now a piece of a helmet. So they're just continuing to work. They're going to work through the night, as Zavajoy mentioned. Uh, they've just been so incredibly tireless throughout the day, and now they're finally getting a pre reprieve from that heat. But the work continues uh, throughout the night. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ. Yeah, more than 10 hours now. Annie Rose, thank mm -hmm. you.